Hey guys, so today I got some really, really exciting news for you guys, and I'm just, well, really exciting news for me, but I just wanted to share them with you. Um, also, I had a lot of fun last night on Blog TV. I usually don't post the Blog TV on YouTube because it kind of gets um, a lot of views, and we just start getting a lot of people with really negative things to say so if you follow me on Twitter that's the only way you're gonna find out if I'll be on blog TV or not if you want to come chat with me um, it's more of an exclusive group so I'm able to answer your questions there a lot easier than having like a thousand people on blog TV and then I it's hard for me to like go through each question and answer it that way so first and foremost I'll start off with um, what some of you guys already know, I was featured along with other beauty bloggers on YouTube on the May 2010 issue of Nylon Magazine, which is their Young Hollywood issue. I was really, really excited when I got contacted for this. I was like, wow, Nylon Magazine? Are you kidding me? Heck yeah, like I want to do this. So I went for a little photo shoot. I actually didn't even know like any of the other girls were going to be here. Um, I did know that Candy Johnson was going to be there because um, she and I, I believe we have like the same photographer because she went the day before to the location that I went the day after. So that was really awesome and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, if you turn to page 91, I'm in the middle, right here, I let me give you a better close up. I'm right here and it just kind of talks about like um, some of our some of our favorite products I chose the Bobbi Brown extreme party mascara I the next jumble pencil and milk Mario Badescu dry and lotion and Anastasia brow with in medium ash which is a brow pencil other gurus on here too but really really exciting you can also check out behind the scenes um, I will link you to their YouTube channel where you can check out the bloggers part two which is where Candy and I, Candy Candy, uh, we're in it. And I also did a little feature on DulceCandy.com, so if you want to check that out, you can check out like a whole blog post I did on this. And you can also check out the YouTube video that Nylon made from behind the scenes at the photo shoot. Um, okay, so that was the really exciting news. I was really blessed to be featured in like a magazine like Nylon, so I'm really happy and I'm thankful. So we all know that the Sigma brushes are very comparable to the MAC brushes. A little brush belt, which is optional for you to buy. And the brush belt itself, it feels really very, it feels really durable. If you ever check out my blog post when I travel, I always take this brush belt and I have many others. Um, the new ones, of course, when you open it up, it has, you know, Sigma and then has a cover. And then you get all of these new makeup brushes. Um, I'm going to go through each one of them very quickly, so don't feel like I'm going to take forever in one. But some of them, like this one, they're already dirty because I filmed a makeup tutorial on, I think it's Leah Michaels, Leah Michelle from Glee. I did a makeup tutorial, so some of the brushes are kind of dirty because I featured these brushes in that video. So anyways, I'll start off with the big ones. This is the SS138, and this brush, I don't have anything similar to this one in my collection of brushes. And it looks like this. You can use this as powder, you can use this as blush, you can use this to use um, foundation to blend it out. There's many different uses for each and every single brush. So it looks like that. All the bristles are really soft, but one thing is that they do shed, so I would recommend washing the brushes first. Um, also, try to keep them in their little pouch, that way they stay um, in shape the whole time. And the next brush here is the SS129, which is like a blush brush. And you could also use this for powder if you want to dust um, your T-zone or down the bridge of your nose. But here's the close-up. And they're all, they all look like this. They're all black, silver, and then the bristles are black or white or yellow. This one I already used. This is the SS165. Um, I used this one. It's just like the big tapered one, but a little bit smaller. And I use this for my cream foundation. I'll kind of spray a little bit with Fix Plus, and then I'll go over like my foundation like this, 
especially with creams, I feel that it's very easy to just um, build coverage with a foundation brush like this six months ago. But I did get the MAC one, but now I have this one here. And it looks like this. It's great to use um, for like mineral blushes or mineral foundation if you want. Good. So if you're applying blush, you don't overdo it. Um, this is the SS227, which is a really, really fat and fluffy brush. And I actually use this to sweep out any fallout gently or blend out that highlight on the brow bone. Then you got this one, which is black. This is the 192. Um, they're synthetic. And this one is great to apply cream foundations as well. And then you can blend it out with your other brushes. Or you could even do concealer at the bottom. This is the 195. And it looks like this. Um, it has blue eyeliner. But I use this one to apply the eyeliner all over the lid. So it's very good with creams. I love synthetic bristles for creams overall. This is the 214, which is short eyeshadow brush. Then you have this flat brush here. This is the 212. And I used this one today. That's why it's a little bit dirty. This one is one of my favorites. This is the 226. And it's a lot denser than the 224. So it's going to give you um, a darker application. Or, and it's also going to be a lot like finer. Like if you want it um, very, very dark and just thinner and not really like really blended then this is a great tool and then we have here too this is the 222 and then the 217 now let me just show you the difference the 217 it's flat like that but it almost has the same shape it's just flat and this one is round and fluffy so they're both blending brushes just different shapes and then we also have here like the really big um, powder brush this is the 134 um, and it's just really really fluffy I love this one but I did find that it does shed but this one is wow like very very smooth um, and that's one of my favorites for blush because I don't have the MAC one and I don't even feel the need that I ever want to buy MAC brushes again, seriously. And then we have this one here which you can carry in your purse. This is a lip brush. Um, or it could be used as concealer. This is a 316. And it looks like that, like a little bullet. Then you pop it out. Then you have the brush here and then you just hook it to the back. And then you have like a full length brush and you can carry this on your purse and it's not going to get dirty it's just protected and then last but not least we have the two um, the 210 which is like an eyeliner brush this one is very very fine um, you can do a lot of like intricate details with this one if you want to do crazy designs all over this is the brush or if you want really fine eyeliner so that's the last of the brushes um, so if you guys want to know anything else check out dulcecandy.com because I always um, update that with fashion outfits if you're more interested in that than makeup um, also Twitter Twitter it has a lot of exclusive things that I don't put on YouTube um, you can follow me there I update it very frequently and I also host my blog TV there well on blog TV but I you only know if you follow me on Twitter that I'm doing blog TV or I'm doing a giveaway or I'm doing just a giveaway for my blog so anyways that pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you guys so much for all the support because all these opportunities would not be able to happen if it weren't for you guys. So I really, really appreciate it. I know I get a lot of questions about what I'm wearing. This is a Forever 21 dress, Forever 21 ring, and this is a Juicy Couture necklace that I just recently got. So that is all. Thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Bye.